Let's talk about some other cross stitch items right now. And as I was doing my research, I learned some stuff. So I think you guys are going to learn something too. Wait until you see this one brand. I've never heard of it. Cross stitch kits definitely can be a big money bolo. And I'm going to show you what I mean in just a second. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. amazing right all right let's get started um they do range from bread and butter to big money so definitely do your research what's really great is cross stitch kits right up in the corner of every cross stitch kit if it's not in the top corner this is dimensions so you find it up in the corner you type that into the search bar along with this one is dimensions the brand and you're probably going to find your item now this one i couldn't find it and I knew that I had a big money bolo on my hands. Uh, this was in a recent video that I did and I had an offer of $125 that I declined. And let me show you this one. Um, you guys probably know the Avon calendars are a big money bolo. They are advent calendars. Advent calendars in general, you wanna pick them up because a lot of them are big money. And if they're not big money, they're bread and butter. And they're usually a quick flip. So this is that Dimensions. Um, it is a cross-stitch kit. It is not the gold collection. Um, the gold collection are amazing. This is just a regular Dimensions kit. It is from 1984, so it is vintage, but it says um, Advent ABCs. Chris Davenport's colorful design makes the long wait till Christmas fun for the whole family. Hang special treats, candy, or small trinkets from each star. Then remove one by one until December 25th. At the same time, children can practice their ABCs. And it's an 18 by 14. So there's the information right there that I just read to you. And again, I could not find any solds on this. So I priced it high. I think I priced it at like 200 plus, but it was on sale. 30% off, I believe right now for 175 I turned down 125, but somebody offered me 150. So I went ahead and took that. Now, if I would have waited until closer to Christmas, I probably could have got in the $200 range. That's just me speculating because honestly, there's no comps. So $150 for this. I picked this up at a thrift store. Um, there's a video on that. It looks like this. If you want to go check out what I paid for it. Um, Here's what the back looks like. So it's got the thread and it's a kit. It's a cross stitch kit. So let's talk about some other cross stitch kits. And I'm going to show you some big money bolos to be on the lookout for. Let's get started. Okay. So I just shared with you that awesome bolo that I sold. Super excited about that one. I After I didn't accept the 125, I was kind of like, <sighs> now you get that. Should I have accepted it? Um but I just, I knew that I could get more. And I really think that I probably could have got more than what I took, but that's okay. I'm super happy with that sale. Let's talk about some other cross stitch items right now. And as I was doing my research, I learned some stuff. So I think you guys are going to learn something too. Wait until you see this one brand. I've never heard of it. Like we all know about dimensions and we're going to talk about that a little bit, which ones to look for. But this brand, never heard of it. And there's a whole bunch that go for big money. So Stay tuned for that. All right, let's get started here. So first off, here is my sale right here. And it's right here at the top. And I noticed that I didn't put calendar in the title. But if you look here, it's not actually numbered. This is an ABC advent. Okay, but it works the same way. Um, but it's basically doing the ABCs. Okay. So this one, I went ahead and just typed in advent calendar just to see what else would come up on the high solds for um, cross stitch. And there is one that is the gold collection advent calendar. And this one went for $143.50. So mine was not the gold collection and it went for more. But from what I have found, the one that I found is really, really, I'm going to use the word rare because no comps, people were messaging me about it. Um, I had multiple offers. It was definitely an item that's hard to find. So this one right here is the gold collection. It's the Joyous Advent, $143.50 and $129.50. Two of those that sold. 
Now here's one that it says Dimensions Christmas Plastic Canvas Kit Teddy Bear Advent Calendar. So this is the plastic canvas and it's probably shaped like a tree. That one went for $49.99 on best offer. So not really 100% sure what that sold for. Here's another Dimensions. Um, here's what I'm going to say about these two. These were put on a buy it now. I personally, anything Advent and Dimensions, I would price higher. But maybe this is kind of the going rate for this calendar. But I typically price up, especially on things that I know people collect and that are in high demand. And if you guys don't know about the Avon calendar, that's another great one to be looking for. It has nothing to do with cross stitch. It's just an old Avon advent calendar that is big money. So here's a few more of the dimensions, um, just some different styles. These are bread and butter, you know, $35 or less, but still great pickups. If you're at a garage sale and you see these and they're a buck or two, definitely pick them up. They will sell. So um, I always pick up pretty much any cross stitch if I can get it for a dollar or less because it's going to be at least bread and butter, bread and butter. <laughs> Sorry. This one, um, I don't know if it's, it kind of looks like it's just the cardboard there. So not a hundred percent sure on that. All right. So let's get into some of these, uh, cross stitch kits. Um, if you search, I do want to show you this. Let's go to a cross stitch kit and we are going to search ended recently. Okay. All listings, not just auctions, all listings. And we're just going to kind of go through here and look at some of the solds. And what I want you to see is prices, sold prices are all over the place. We've got 22 on this one. This is a dimensions. This is a gold collection. Um, if you find the gold collection, always start them high if you're going to auction them or comp them out and price this is my recommendation, price on the high end of comps and put a best offer on it. That is what I would do if there's a few listed. I also recommend getting these items on other platforms because sometimes these items are saturated, let's say on eBay and Poshmark and Mercari may only have one or two listed or maybe none. Um, you may sell it for more on those other platforms. I start my items on eBay and then I use List Perfectly to cross post my items to the other platforms. Um, list Perfectly, it's, uh, I use it to cross post. Now, they do have a catalog where you can list into the catalog, and I'm going to have more information on that soon. But what I do is I just get my items in eBay and then get my items over to the other um, platforms. If you want to try List Perfectly, there's a demo, a demo video down in the description that shows you how it works. And if you're interested, you can use coupon referral code BOLO Buddies. All one word to get 30% off your first month. I've been using it since 2019, you guys, and I love it. Uh, so here's probably something you shouldn't do is start your auction super low. This one went for $5. But we are going to go into this. This is a do-it-yourself DIY diamond painting. They're calling this cross stitch. And again, we're going to go more into this soon. So stay tuned for that because this is something that I found from doing this research. So here's a Jay Lynn or Jan Lynn. These typically do not go for as much. That doesn't mean there's not some out there in the wild that are worth more, but typically bread and butter on that brand. Here's a Bucilla. That's another good brand. This one went for $69. Um, another gold collection. They had it at $49.99. So like I said earlier in the video, it's really easy to comp these because they have an item or a cross stitch kit item number. So it's right up here in the corner, depending on which one you have. This one went for $9.99. I think this looks like maybe a smaller kit. So these are just some of the recent solds. Here's one, a gold collection that sold for $319.99. So those gold collection are definitely big money if I find those. And I missed one at a garage sale. It was actually in my church sale video. Somebody's like, you had a gold collection in your hand. And I think it was one of the smaller ones. I have no idea why I sat it down, but I did. So we all make mistakes. <laughs> All right, let's move on here. So here's one. Um, another good thing, aside from gold collection cross stitch kits to look for, are any stocking cross stitch kits. Now, if you can find the gold collection, that's a double bonus, okay? But even if it's just a stocking kit, those make great bread and butter, but some of them can go for a hundred bucks, even if they're not the gold collection. So look for the stockings. This one is a gingerbread haunted house. So this is Halloween themed, 
But I also noticed the word sampler. It's right here in the title, uh, the Victoria sampler. Uh, not sure if there's another one that I'm going to show you that says sampler also that went for big money. This one sold for $153.61. So this is Halloween. It's vintage and it's a sampler. This one here is another gold collection stocking, $162.50. So you've got the stocking. Here's another stocking gold collection, $165.50. Look how cute these are. I mean, they're amazing. Now, this one is just a, a gold collection dimensions. And this one has, the, the picture could definitely, it could be better. For sure, the photos could be better. And collections not in the title. I would definitely put gold collection in the title. Uh, but it still sold for $182.50, even though it was not a great title and not great pictures. Gold collection right here, $202.50, Tender Loving Care, this one's called. And another gold collection. So as you can see, gold collection is a bolo. And as I was searching, I kept seeing these do-it-yourself diamond art kits. And if you look up here, people are putting them under cross-stitch kits. So even though it's not in the title, when I search cross-stitch kits, these come up. So what this is, is it's some sort of like little beads or something. And you somehow, let me see if I can zoom in here, put these little dots onto a canvas. So they're calling it a cross stitch. I, I don't know why, because it's not cross stitch, but maybe because it kind of looks like a cross stitch when it's done. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but apparently some of these are big money bolos. This one sold for 225 50 on um, auction. And again, you know, the photos are not fantastic. So um, if you look here, I went into this seller's feedback and look, diamond art. Um, let's see, Diamond Art Club, Diamond Art Club, Diamond Art Club, 140, 250, 251, 130, 122, 162. Let's look at this one right here. Uh, 251 on this one. So definitely if you see these out, um, look them up. Looks like they have a barcode, but this is not a scannable barcode. So you are going to have to, um, uh, Put love at its darkest, do it yourself diamond art kit and search it that way. But those are all, um, those were all solds and over a hundred dollars for these. Here is the other one that I was talking about that says sampler. Morning has broken sampler. And this one sold for $264 um, in auction style. And it looks like somebody has written on here. So this one, is it, it says new, hmm, I was gifted these from an estate and I will be listing many items over the next week. Most items are opened and have original price stickers. I don't know. Hmm. Looks like someone wrote on it, right? Okay. The next one here is Nan's Boutique. Just Nan. Okay. Pay attention here. This is because I didn't know this. Nan's Boutique. Delightful decorative details. This is just a detail. Uh, how many of you would have walked right past this? Just Nan. You see it right here? Just Nan. And it's a tassel. This sold for $74.11 plus shipping. Now, are you ready for the cross stitch kits? $98 on this one. This one's called Just Nan. Right there, Just Nan Harmony. Let me know in the comments, did you know about this brand? Because I did not. This one sold for 98. Just wait. To be continued, Lady Scarlet's Journey by Just Nan. This is another kit. Okay. Oh, it looks like this one comes with some extra pieces. This one sold for 109.50. Scream House by Just Nan. So this one kind of got your Halloween theme. 127.50. Christmas Workshop by Just Nan. Okay. And these are a little a little bit fancy. And they come with some extra little things inside the kit. 
Here's another one. This one is called Mary 15 by Just Nan. Again, a Christmas themed item. 20250 on this one. And it no pins. It's missing the pins, it looks like. Here's another one. Cross Stitch Silver Needle 2009 Just Nan Mary 15. $368 plus shipping. And you can see right here, wonderful kit. Thank you so much. $368. This item was paid for. So if you are in the listing and you want to know, did the person actually pay for the item? This is one way to check. You go into the feedback. And it looks like this person sells um, a lot of cross stitch. You put in, um, like, let's just put in just man. And you can see here, 368. Here's one that sold for 57, 42, 47, and 113. So that's their sales just on the Just Nan. Uh, let's go in here and let's go to sellers other items. Let's go over to sold and let's search highest first and just see what else they're selling. It looks like this is uh, Needle Needle Smith is the name of the the store. So oh, look at this one right here. Here's another one, uh, Tea with Honey, Just Nan, 250 Fancy That Santa's Workshop, Cross Stitch Chart Cardstock, one ninety one twenty six. Fancy That, Tom the Toy Maker, Fancy That. So here's another one, Fancy That must be a good one. Let's go in here and see if we can look at what the packaging looks like because they have it zoomed in. And this is one that I don't know about. Okay, looky there, Fancy That. There is another one that I have never seen before and probably would not have, I probably would have picked it up if it was cheap, but I wouldn't have known that it would be a big money bolo. So, and I don't know if they all are, you definitely got to do your research, but here's another one. Fancy that $152.50. The, um, the plantation sampler, again, sampler seems to be like a, a word that's important that goes when samplers in the title, some of those go higher. Here's some more fancy that's. So, wow, definitely glad we came in here and looked at this. So this is another great way to research. Here's the Just Nan. This is, um, looks like just the one piece there. With my needle, 50 bucks on that one. Just Nan. All right, you guys, I don't know about you, but I definitely, definitely learned a lot from researching the cross stitch kits. So I sold that kit tonight and I'm like, you know what? I want to show everybody that this sold. And then I was thinking, you know what? Let's just kind of do a little research and I'll record it and kind of share with everybody what I find. And I actually found a lot of stuff I didn't know. So I'm super excited about that. I have done other um, I think I did one other cross stitch video, but it's been a while ago. So um, this is an updated version. If you would like to see more videos like this Bolo category videos, I have over a hundred and I have a whole playlist and it says category videos. If you want to see more videos just like this, check that out. And my channel is all about Bolo items. If it's your first time here, I would love for you to subscribe. Bolo means be on the lookout be on the lookout. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. That's what I talk about. I do also have a new series called Do Not Sell These Items. And these are items that have been removed from eBay or people have gotten suspended. They are Vero's items. Do not list. So check out that series. I think I probably have five, six, maybe seven up mm -hmm. already and more to come. And thank you for being here. Leave me a hat emoji if you made it this far. And thanks for watching.